Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive. This is your All-Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. And today we are talking about a kind of a slush fun of sorts. But first, if you have not yet, smash the like button. It just helps the channel find new audience, and I greatly appreciate that. So, got the memo up here. We're going to discuss this a little bit. We're going to pull the memo up in the screen. We'll go into deep detail about it. But first, why is Ford offering their dealers up to a thousand dollars to keep their their customers happy and i don't mean they're offering it to the dealers though i do think a lot of dealers are going to take advantage of this situation and not actually do what they're supposed to with it but why why would ford need to do that well we all know 2020 july of 2020 we all get excited about these uh the sixth generation bronco and we all put that hundred dollars down as a reservation fee we all wanted to get them thinking, oh man, by spring we're going to have Broncos. Well, that turned spring, turned to summer. And, you know, just due to the pandemic, it just slowed everything down. And, and it's hard to beat the company up over and over about that. But it just is what it is. They uh, had troubles getting everything in line, getting everything going. But they did it. And they started shipping out some hard tops that were well less than attractive. And a lot of issues with that. And there'll be a video. Co I have inside sources on that. There's going to be a video coming for that one. But... Ford has decided, hey, we're we'll we'll give people posters and just say, hey, hang in there, man. And uh, I I don't get the poster personally, but I didn't I didn't throw it away either. I you know I'll keep it. It's kind of neat, but I don't think the the two dollar poster was gonna make me more happy. Well, they started sending out these hammocks, and while I think it's pretty cool, they didn't have to do it. Once again. There's nothing like it. The the message is hang in there, hang in there. We're we're doing our best, and which is okay. And now we're getting into the thousand dollar fund, and where most people think this thousand dollar fund is like, oh, Ford's just giving me a thousand dollars to do whatever I want. Eh, time out. That's not how it works. So I want to get into this email and just um, let you guys know what I think is about to happen and uh, where do you stand with this. So let's just jump into this. Jumping into this memo, let's take a look at it. First off, guys, just because you assume that the dealerships are going to do right by you, never, never, it's not a guarantee that these dealerships are going to do right by you. Uh, this is just Ford giving dealerships the ability to do this. This isn't Ford giving you anything saying you get to use it how you want. But let's break this thing down and let's talk about it a little bit because I just think that, uh, I think that. Once again, you might get a little disappointed in this. So, let's look at it. Uh, the summary. The Bronco team is excited to announce Bronco Customer Satisfaction Funds effective September 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. Bronco Customer Satisfaction Funds, which is a mouthful to say, are available to assist dealerships. Remember, assist dealerships, not customers. While helping manage the weight of Bronco customers who have confirmed orders. And once again, remember, that says confirmed orders because... If you are in a code 99, this program's not for you. So if you've pushed yours back and uh, you're, uh, as of right now, you know, you're not eligible for this program. But, you know, I think in 22, it's still going to be active for you. So let's look at this. Um, we know Bronco customers are raring to get into their uh, Bronco SUVs. However, due to unprecedented demand, production challenges with the Ruth supplier, once again, we got, we, every once in a while, you just got to kind of jab Wabastos a little bit. Um, and key commodity uh, constraints, the time for uh, initially placing reservations to ultimately taking delivery has seen many delays and frustrations. You think it might have? Um, let's get into the kind of the overview of this program too. Um, uh, let's see, some, let's in the background as well. For some customers, it may be another vehicle to add to their stable, making the weight more bearable. But for a lot of customers, it's their primary vehicle, which is definitely, definitely it. So customers, uh, any available customer with a current reservation ID and order in the system, including customers who are unscheduled, scheduled, or have, have taken final delivery. Uh, unscheduled is not what you think. So don't think I've 99 mine and uh, they're going to still let me get in on the program because it does break that down here in just a second. So the maximum they can spend is $1,000. But guess what? The minimum they have to spend is zero. That's right. They do not. Your dealership does not have to spend a dime on you. Just remember that. That's that's very important. Now, if you've got a good relationship with your dealership, they probably should use this the best of their ability to take care of you. But guess what? Dealerships. We've seen so many dealers right now who uh, you know people were ordering them, paying retail for them, but and, and they get the vehicle in stock 
ready to pick it up and they find out there's a five to ten thousand dollar upcharge so just remember dealers are dealers at the end of the day so they're out for them they're not out for you uh examples when to use this is uh kind of funny and also the spending time frame it must be dated uh, september uh, 1st 21 or later to be eligible so examples a special thank you for customers who need to come in and forget their replacement rooftops or who have taken a bronco for a test drive while they wait once again even if you've taken your this bronco that they have in stock for a test drive you still have to have an order an active order in that's eligible to be built so eligible remember that no code 99s um a surprise a surprise delighted gift uh as part of the 22 year model order cons constellation um and what does that mean exactly well you know ford came out with the the paint and all these things saying hey you know roofs if you're ordering basically a hard top now you're not getting it till 22 they don't want to have people upset going hey uh, what's going on you know you push me to a 22 this would be a nice way for ford to say hey we're trying to make it up to you um also assistance uh, to customers who have expressed concern over their vehicle needs, getting them through the wait time. I could see this. If, um, you know, you've, you're at the end of your lease, maybe you can extend your lease another month or something like that. It's to help with that a little bit. Um, I don't think really a rental car program, it would help very well, but you know, it is what it is. Now let's get into the, the, the fun part of this is there we go right there. Examples, how to use this fun. And this is for dealerships. Remember, this is not for you. This is for dealerships. Examples how they can use this fund. And once again, they don't have to use this fund on you. Uh, leverage the Bronco Apparel uh, Dealer Purchase Program to buy branded swag, which that's kind of neat. Uh, I don't think I need $1,000 worth of hoodies or anything, but uh, it's kind of cool that they're uh, you know allowing this, if the dealers allow it. Uh, provide payment assistance to an interim vehicle uh, purchase slash lease. Well, I've got a Ford or a Jeep Gladiator out there. Would you uh, like to make the past two payments for me? Because I bought it waiting on the Bronco. I doubt it, but it's still, it would be cool if they did that. Uh, help with rental vehicle coverage. That one's a little, that's a stretch for me, but okay. Uh, offer discounts towards Ford Protect Extend Warranty and Maintenance Plans. Now, that's just Ford. That's a nice way of Ford going, hey, we're going to give you basically this this extended warranty for the thousand dollars or whatever. But guess what? Hopefully they didn't build a vehicle that you need the extended warranty. So it's a 50 50 shot on Ford going, well, we may never have to cover that money, but we might. Uh, they're gambling sorts. But I, if, if you are the kind of person that likes the extended warranty, that would be a nice way to do it. But the key that I think set a lot of people off is right here. Buy a bottle of their favorite bourbon spirit to uh, thank them for their loyalty and patience. Now, why do I think this is, for one, this is just out of left field, right? This is just one of those, man, where did that come from? But why, I, I think this made people go, oh man, they're just gonna, it's gonna be gift city for my dealership. Once again, it's up to the dealer to spend any of this money. And I wanna say dealers could spend, we'll say they throw $500 of swag at you. I guarantee you there's some dealers out there that somehow claim to Ford they spent $1,000 at you, and they're going to start trying to pocket some money. It's just what dealers do. They, uh, they are, sometimes there's great dealerships who are just very honest, want to do a great, you know, have great customer service, and there's dealerships that, uh, well, you know, they're just snakes in the grass, and, and I don't care what brand, they're all, they all have these dealers. But uh, I personally, you want to buy me a, a bottle of, uh, of of my favorite bourbon or spirit? I'm down for that. I'll take a nice gift like that and not even think twice about it. You want to throw in a cool Bronco hoodie? Ford, you bought me. You got me. Uh, but where do you guys stand with this? I'm just, I just, I, I find it funny that um, some of the stuff I've read in forums, honestly, that they just think, oh man, they're just, they're just, it's just making it rain, making it rain. I'm going to do all this. I'm going to split my 500 into for performance parts and then I want this and that and it's like guys once again it's it's not up to you it's up to the dealership so there you go all right so where do you stand with this are you excited thinking oh man I'm gonna get that thousand dollar bottle of booze or, or uh, you know the they're gonna let me go through the accessory catalog and just start picking out stuff or how do you think they're gonna handle this truly I think each individual dealership will do something just completely different 
And I, I'm just afraid that the dealerships are going to take advantage of this funds and somehow not actually get to the customers. We've seen dealer markups, right? Why would they not try to, uh, you know, get their paws on this money as well? So in the comments below, let me know about your comment and uh, we'll go from there. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it doesn't matter what you drive. This is your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we are out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.